Viewers, a day after the political boss of Hamas, Ismail Haniye, was assassinated during a visit to Iran, the military commander of Hamas, Mohammad Daif, has been killed in an airstrike in Gaza. Daif was targeted in the strike on a compound in the Khan Yusuf area of Gaza on the 13th of July. Hamas is yet to confirm his death, but what we are being told, viewers, is that uh, Israel, while it did not directly confirm the death of Hanie, has, however, in the case of Diev, come out and confirmed that Diev was killed in an Israeli airstrike. Now, viewers, as we know, Diev was one of the figures responsible for planning the 7th October strike on Israel, especially southern Israel, in which 1,200 people were killed and 251 taken hostage. Now, viewers, let's quickly give you a sense of who these individuals are. On the first, of course, is Hanie. He is the political chief of Hamas. He was killed in Tehran. And then, of course, you have Diev, who is the number two, the purported number two of the organization. And uh, he apparently has also been knocked out. So, big news coming. And while this particular assassination took place on the 13th of July, it isn't, some people believe, a coincidence that the declaration of DF's death has been made a day after Hanie's death. Now, of course, there is only the third top player, Sinwar, who needs to be eliminated. And many people say that after that, Netanyahu could well and truly come out and say that Israel has won the war and the time for hostilities is over. DF was on the US list of international terrorists since 2015. So, viewers, He's good riddance. Both Haniyev and Diev are good riddance. Listen in to what the Israeli Defense Minister had to say. Okay. He basically said, and let me quote him, viewers, that the Osama bin Laden of Gaza was eliminated on July 13th. This is a significant milestone in the process of dismantling Hamas as a military and governing authority in Gaza. This operation reflects the fact that Hamas is disintegrating and that Hamas terrorists may either surrender or they will be eliminated. Israel's defense establishment will pursue Hamas terrorists, both the planners and the perpetrators of the October 7th massacre. We will not rest until this mission is accomplished." Unquote. Now, absurdly, instead of welcoming the news of the killings, many West Asian countries and some so-called rights activists here in India also have expressed outrage as Israel. Iran, for instance, is threatening war and Pakistan has demanded action against Israel. Shockingly, Palestinian President Abbas has declared a day of mourning to mark the assassination of Hamas leader Ismail Haniye. This proves that Palestine, that some Indians cry buckets over, is mostly anti-Semitic and an enabler of Islamist exclusivism. After all, how can Haniye be a hero for any country, especially when Haniye has proclaimed that he was committed to number one, denying Jewish state Israel's right to exist. Basically, he was genocidal. Number two, backing armed struggle against Israel, which has led to conflicts and violence. Basically, he was an Islamist hate monger, supremacist. Three, the use of anti-Semitic language. Basically, he was a bigot. Persecution to death of religious minorities, belonging to Shia community, political opponents, LGBTQI activists, and feminist, basically, he was a sociopath. And now let's also examine the other tug, Muhammad Dave's record. The military commander has called for a military solution to eliminate Jews. Dave has praised terror attacks on Jews, who he has referred to as, quote, the descendants of apes and pigs, unquote. Dave has also blamed Jews for the, quote, corruption of humanity, unquote. Obviously, this bigot has been reading Hitler's Mein Kampf. Viewers, let's open this up. Let's have a conversation. Israel has avenged the October 7 attacks. 
to quite an extent. So why is there outrage against Israel? They are only doing things to protect their own population from genocidal thugs. Nilofar Masood, leader of the national conference is here with us. I am sure you are celebrating that Israel has been able to eliminate these threats to humanity, these listed terrorists, globally listed terrorists. Ms. Masood. I can't hear you. I think you might be on mute. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, ma'am. Yes. Well, Rahul, we need to be very clear about the policy which our country has adopted. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is the role, what is the actual policy which our country has adopted vis-a-vis -vis the Palestine? If we are supporting them on one platform, we cannot say that what Gaza has, what uh, uh, Israel is doing today, we need to endorse that. Rightly said by you that if any country is against any uh, militancy or terrorism, India has been uh, standing with those countries. And we as a country uh, today believe that. Any country which is against, which is taking any step against the terrorism, India is supporting them. But we need to clarify our policies. At international level, when we support Palestine, we have to be very clear, actually, uh, whom are we supporting? Are we supporting the Israel? Are we supporting the Palestine? Because there have been, uh, in the recent past, there have been some affairs against the people who have hosted the flag of the Palestine also. So we have to be very clear. No, I just want, I'm, I'm confused. Uh, very confused by your response, Ms. Masood. I, I want to ask you a specific question. Now, you know, you said that we should never support anyone that supports terrorists. And I think that's a fair proposition, isn't it? So how should we support Palestine, where its president is marking the death of Hanie, who is an anti-Semite? Who says that all Jews should be killed? It is neither you, it is neither me who can decide actually the international policy. No, I'm asking which are you, what is your position? Country. What is your position? Do you first sympathize first all, we with... We cannot raise any question on the policies which have already been adopted by our country. No, no, no. Let I'm asking, a, I'm asking you a simple question, Ms. Masood. I'm asking our you a simple question. Our country has to be very clear and specific on the point we whether have been we very support clear. Palestine or We have been or very not. clear, but there are political leaders in then our country... No, hang on, Ms. Masood, let me remind you... ...who have hosted the flag of Palestine. No, no. Why is there dual policy? Why are there affairs against the people who have hosted flags of the Palestine? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? It's yeah, obvious because obvious? because today Palestine has thrown in its lot with people like uh, Haniyev, who are sworn to actually no, no hang on, listen to me, who are sworn to liberate Kashmir from India. Are you in favor of that policy of I Mr. Haniyev and the Palestinian how, how government? You are getting those connections, how you are getting, no, I'm those, not getting connections. those connections? Those are standard. No, no, hang on, hang on. No, 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 madam, madam, no, no, no. I, 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 you are you today. No, no, hang on. Your bleeding hearts. Your bleeding hearts are actually today for a large number of Kashmiri youth, you're saying, who have been arrested for flying the Palestine flag. Do you know no, Palestine? No, no, hang on, ma'am, please, let me yes. finish. Because you see, you asked me, how are you getting all these facts? So now I'm telling you these facts. And the facts are that the leadership in Palestine has supported the right to self-determination of Kashmir. How as an Indian, who swears by the Indian constitution, can you and I support a government or an authority or a people that are looking to break our country? I'm asking you. So what else should the government do? Tell me, Shank, uh, tell me, Rahul, only one thing. What is the stand which our country has taken? Yes. Whether it is in favor of Palestine or against? No, we are not against anybody and we are not in favor of anybody okay, either. Palestine, we have actually, we have actually taken very neutral positions. Okay, let me, let me open this up. How can you celebrate the success of the Israel? How okay. can you celebrate this? Okay, let me... You have to be very clear. You cannot stand you, on the two boards. Why shouldn't you? These are international Palestine, global you terrorists. You stand on the two boards. First, you need to clarify your policy. We have clarified it our policy. Not, I'm not talking about the affairs which have the, been lodged the against the people. The government of India has condemned... But I'm talking about the affairs which have been lodged against the rest of the people why should the they India be why should the they be why should you be hoisting the flags of palestinians who are coming out there and saying very clearly that they are for the right to self determination anyhow let me just open this up let me let me bring in some other voices 
here we are umbridging at this fact so shan sarin yes let me clarify flags were not hosted by the people of jammu and kashmir but in the rest of the india in the recent yeah, muharram so we need to, so we need to take action place. against those people yes. who have misplaced sympathies so who are raising the hamas flag the government is okay one minute, one minute. let me let me bring it flag in no, 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 there is a difference there is a difference between supporting hamas inviting hamas leaders to give lectures to indian What youth we need to clarify our no, no, stand no why we are very clear we don't stand yes. with hamas we stand with the poor innocents of palestine but not with hamas no, one second let me bring in that second that Madam, we said that we, you, we are celebrating you, okay you are yeah. successful let the others speak also let's let's get a view you asked some questions let me get a view sushant sarin we need to make a very very clear distinction between the hamas and the palestinians i in fact i'm sorry i blurred the lines because let me be very honest with you palestinians who voted and elected and allowed themselves to be ruled by the hamas and in informal elections in surveys etc continue to support the hamas with 50 50% mandates even in uh, the other territory which is the west bank i'm sorry i lump them all together but you know you can differ with me why should we be bleeding hearts for these craven individuals Well, we shouldn't be, and frankly speaking, I would agree with you that yes, we should make a distinction between the Palestinians uh, and Hamas and the other terrorist groups in that uh, region. But it's not only us who should make that distinction; the Palestinians themselves should make that yes. distinction. Uh, and clearly, when they don't make that distinction, then it creates a problem. Now, uh, the lady keeps asking, "What is our policy? What is our stand?" Our stand is very clear. uh india is in favor of a two state solution that is the official position we are in favor of a two state solution we believe that a two state solution should come by uh you know in a negotiated manner uh, we are against terrorism and i think the government of india has come out very very clearly against what happened on october 7th uh, and the kind of massacres that were carried out we have also counseled restraint on israel but then you know we have limited uh, kind of capital on that count so there is something we can say and beyond that we can't go our voting record in the united nations itself uh, dictates what our policy has been and in our own way we are very clear about what our policy is now the problem however is that there is a muslim street in around the world including in india for example we have uh, two people uh, sitting on your panel please ask them do they consider burhan wani a terrorist or not and you will not you will get a wishy washy answer you will not get a clear answer that's the same kind of an approach which somebody like uh, abu mazen or uh, mahmud abbas uh, uses in in the west bank because he is afraid of the muslim street he does not have the political courage or the political capital or the political intellect to come out openly and stand against terrorism so he, he'll hunt with the hound and he'll run with the yes. hare that is what the problem is so let we me ask that let me ask that question i think it's a very good question and general bakshi is also there ahmed ayaz let me ask you in 2019 palestine's un ambassador riyad mansoor expressed support for pakistan's position on kashmir we know that in 2020 president mahmood abbas reiterated palestine support for pakistan's stance on kashmir during a meeting with pakistan's prime minister imran khan has the time come Mr. Ahmed Ayaz, to renounce, yeah, to true. renounce and denounce uh, yeah. diplomatically Palestine. You see, uh, this is true, uh, Rahul, and it is being uh, proved by the you know you can see that the you know whenever any conflict arises or it exists somewhere, uh, as uh, we are talking about Palestine and Israel, or there's a conflict between Russia and then the Ukraine. And that there are problems with the Jammu and Kashmir also. Then there is a natural movement. You see, point is uh, again all these uh, things happen. A conflict takes place. It exists somewhere. The world war problem is that the world does not take one side. No, uh, Mr. Ayaz, I am asking you a simple question. I am putting you. Forget the other people. I am asking, what does Ahmed Ayaz believe? Are you with Iran today? Are you with Palestine today? Or are you with Israel today? Simple question. We are with anyone who has any excessive cause against one. Any, just like I am saying, it is because of Muslim war. We are with that. Whoever it is, it is not uh, Iran. It is not the Palestinian. It can be anybody. Oh, why are we? I am asking you a specific why, why question. Are, any, are you any, with? Any, are you with? Are you with, sir? 
Iran and Palestine, that little yeah, nexus, yeah, or me, are you with yeah, Israel? Yes, yeah, to, me, to me, let me take a stand. Yeah. Let me take a stand. To me, there is a problem on behalf of the Israel, on Palestinian, that they kill people. Yes, I stand. I, I say that they need to be had. If you mean me to take a stand. So you're saying that the Palestinians are bad people, that they're terrorists? No, I, I don't say. I say they are, they are, they are you know, they are, there are excessive thoughts on them. They have their own issues. It's okay. not that they are simply uh, uh, in, in a conflict or they are fighting against uh, Israel. They have a reason. They, they, are, they have an issue. They have an I, I issue. A root cause needs to be addressed. They have yeah, an issue. There are issues. They have a root there. cause, which they is are. the elimination of Israel. Yeah, That's the root cause. Now, see, viewers, uh, Palestine under the Hamas, at least the Gaza Strip under the Hamas, and perhaps even now, I don't know, under the Palestine Authority, who is thrown in their lot with honeys of the world, etc., viewers, view this not as a two-state solution at all. They view it as a either them or us situation. General Bakshi, I don't know why there are so many Indians who can't take a firm stand against Palestine when A, it votes against us on Kashmir. Uh, number two, when its own leaders espouse the kind of views that I have just read out to the world and you yourself. Where do you stand on this, General Saab? Look, uh, Rahul, there are some of these people speak because of their domestic political compulsions their desires to cultivate vote banks among specific religious minorities and that uh, colors their entire outlook to what is straightforward right and wrong. On the 7th of October, we had a heinous terrorist attack on an unprecedented scale which killed 1,200 Israeli women, children, old, infirm, indiscriminate slaughter and uh, you saw the way women were being dragged out women were being raped and uh, there were people who were gloating 250 terrorists were taken out of which half are still with being in the captivity of Hamas so what do you expect Israel to do Israel has to hit back Israel has no other option but to hit back and they have hit back hard Unlike us, they have not uh, espoused Gandhian, uh, you yes. know, restraint and so on and so forth. Yes, exactly. They have hit their enemies and hit them hard. Yeah. Yes. So let me ask uh, Ms. Masood to respond to General Bakshi. Why do Palestinians deserve 100% backing and Israel deserves 0% backing when Palestinians never even condemned? As a whole, people never condemned what happened on October 7. I never saw anyone in the Gaza Strip lighting a candle for any of the 1,200 Israelis that were butchered? I'll just put a question, straight question to you, Rahul. Just tell me, uh, Hamas is supported by which country? It is supported by Hamas a large, number of, by large number of Muslim it countries. Is, it is supported by the Iran. It is supported by the Iran. And what are our relations with the Iran? Okay. So but you're saying you're saying at a personal we level. Are, we are, we are, we no, are so, no, no, hang on. No, no, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Israel is also supported. No, hang on. Israel is against the Hamas. You need to be against those countries. Miss Masood, Miss Masood, Israel is also Israel is also supported by America, isn't it? Against the brutal killings, you're saying that. I also support. I support humanity. I'm not here to support anybody. So I'm asking you. So then I'm asking yes, you, I'm asking you, then, I'm asking you then, would you ever raise a flag for Israel? It's a simple question since you support humanity. Will you? I don't, I don't think we need to raise, especially me, need to raise a flag in favor of the, uh, this Israel. Okay. Because of the reason they have been involved in the mass genocide, they have been involved in the killing of the... Yes, mass genocide in the killing go. of the children. Viewers, I Have you seen the bodies of the children this. which are being carried by the the coffins which okay. are being carried by the parents? Yeah, that's Have what you I'm seen asking them? you. On October seventh, do, do we you need think to celebrate, uh, uh, on October seventh? On October seventh, excuse me, madam, I'm asking you, Miss Masood, on October seventh, what happened to Israel? 
do you there support have been israel so many october 7 in the palestine okay, itself so, so two wrongs yes, make a right so okay Nobody so viewers so viewers here we have it israel, we here we have it here we have the response this is the response i was looking for and i think sushant sarin is absolutely right i think sushant sarin you have your answer don't you I didn't need an answer because I knew where the lady was coming from, and you know there is this typical obfuscation so of uh, things. From? Where, are, where do I come from? Where, from? where do I come from? from? I do come from the part of the India. You need to realize that I don't live in Israel, neither no, in no, Palestine. No, no, he's meaning it rhetorically, ma'am. The point of view that you come from. He's not talking about your geography. He's talking about the point of view that you come from. He's saying that you have a sympathy. For Islamists who have humanity. declared who have declared a war on humanity at large. Okay, so Chancery, you were saying something. Rahul, how can I speak? You yeah. know, when lady keeps interrupting yes. me. It's no, go ahead, problem. please. Go ahead. So I think you know there is this typical obfuscation which happens that you know uh, Iran supports Hamas, India supports Iran, so that means India must be supporting Hamas. This I don't know how this logic operates. It doesn't, right? The other thing is that you know if people had come out openly and publicly and said that look what happened on october 7th it is it deserves the strongest condemnation possible and that yes those people need to be brought to justice come hell or high water then i would understand where people would say that look maybe israel is using some excessive force maybe they need to show some restraint now that can be a point of view i don't necessarily agree with that but that can be a point okay. of view i can appreciate then there is this entire factor that when a terrorist leader is killed there are people who you know issue statements uh, you know uh, celebrating his life or or condemning his uh, killing that also betrays a certain sentiment yes. you see point is that if the guy was a decent bloke then yes of course by all means you know you should you should uh, you know commiserate his death but the moment you start uh, commiserating his death uh, of a terrorist then i i think i have a serious problem i mean he has reduced uh, jews that. he has dehumanized them he says yeah. they are pigs i exactly. mean can you believe it viewers exactly. and, and we and, have people and, who are raising you no. know the palestine flag here I Rahul, just don't the get irony it. is the irony is yeah. that the jews actually preceded the muslims in that one entire one area one. right yes so if they are the progeny of pigs and whatever uh, then so are the muslims well, of that area well i mean you know i'll just say something i'm not getting into this uh, i'm not getting into this sort of you know debate but the point is viewers we have to rise above the gutter you know and if people who live in the gutter and behave like individuals in the gutter do and when they get a come up ans then we should be very clear morally where we stand on that i leave it at this viewers